Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you're well. Now, what we're going to do today is use a very special and unique world just for this lesson and just for you. So what we're going to do is have a look at our Minecraft uh, inventions pages from me. So let's go and find out how we get there. So we have to go to ICT pages and we go to resources where we normally go to primary ICT and then we can go to the year three pages which is just here. When you're in your year three pages just to remind you that we have our inventions here in information technology and we go to year three inventions. Next because you're with me in my classes you have to go and find this here which is the Pickaxe and Minecraft Inventions with Mr. Glenn. Okay. On this page, I have changed the link for the play, the learn, try, test, which is what we're coming to the end of right now. And this is your learn, try, test world that I've made for you today. So inside, we're not going to use the MC Inventions world that we have in school. I've made one just for you. So you click on this here and you'll notice that on here in my browser on my computer i have a download section just here and it allows me to open the 3j2 floor inventions page just here now i've already opened this before and it's, it says do you want to open a file and the reason i know we're going to open this because it's got the little picture of minecraft um, education edition now, Minecraft Education Edition is free. I want to show you where that is and where you can get that from in a moment. It's a free download, and all you have to do is sign in with your school email address and password. Your new passwords, don't forget, have been sent to you and your parents. Okay, so that is in a fresh email that was sent around about 12 o'clock uh, on Tuesday, I think. On Monday, sorry. So... You can open this up and it'll take you to a world. Now, if you're on a different device, I'm going to bring my iPad onto the screen. It looks a bit strange, but here's my iPad look like this. Drag this in like that. So this is my iPad page. So I'm going to take this away and show you what this looks like on an iPad. So I'm going to go full screen in here so you can see it clearly. So I'm in my MC Inventions with Mr. Glenn page here. I just have to move down here and use my, my pointer. So here... And then when I click on this, it will be the same thing, but it's just a slightly different action. That's all. And you hit download like this. And then over here in Safari, it'll say to you, there's a fresh download, which, which is here. Now you don't have the picture for the MC world. What will happen is it'll try and open it up like this. And I'm already signed in, so it'll know who I am. Um, I'm not going to keep this in here forever. So that'll just load up and then you sign in with your email and password just like you do in school and just like you do in Minecraft Education Edition. Okay. When you're in Minecraft Education Edition, you sign in here with, and you'll have your name just above my head in the pictures. Let's go and shrink that slightly. Uh, you can see that when I go to play, it'll say import like this. And this is the world that I've made for you. This is a two floor invention. Okay. Go and play it. Okay. Open it up. It'll automatically import uh, into the world. If you sign in and then try it again, if it doesn't, if it doesn't instantly import. So in our lessons, we've been creating something that looks a bit like this. So we have a signal that goes out uh, from one redstone invention and contraption into another so in class what we've been doing so far is building something that's gone from here and then it's gone over to a separate platform now in school you remember that this was lava or it was a flat world and the, we weren't allowed to touch the floor okay this time though what i want you to do is build up and I, the reason i want you to do this is because when we come to our four stage um rube goldberg machine in the mc inventions world you've got to leap over something to another platform. And to that leap, 
means you've got to take this signal somehow, this redstone signal that's pulsing here every time the minecart minecart goes over this uh, detector rail. It's going to send this signal up into here, into this platform above. Okay. Now what I've done here is I've started to expand and create a multi-directional um, pulse system because this is what I need to do with my Rube Goldberg machine. I need to keep the signal flowing and going into something else. Okay. So here the redstone comes up into this uh, repeater because I need the repeater to, to extend the signal. I'm just going to go into this dispenser. Now inside this dispenser, I've made a target to allow me to continue the signal going out. So let's have a look at how this works. I'm going to go into my inventory. You're going to be in creative mode. So I'm going to go and get some arrows in here and get rid of that and put that in. Oopsie daisy. And let's put that in there like that. And as it comes into nighttime, you can see that as the, the, the minecart underneath is hitting that detector rail, it's lighting everything up. Now to continue this system, what I've done is added a switch here on a sticky piston that's going to connect this redstone and light up all the lights at night. Over here, what I've done is I thought, what can I add to the target? Now the target block, when it gets, when it gets hit by an arrow, sends a signal out. So now this is where my multi-directional pulse goes. I'm going to go into here and then I was thinking, how can I continue something even further? So I used an observer. So this observer, every time this sticky piston pushes this concrete over this observer, it sends this pulse over into here. And I decided to make a little target over there. And I need to go and put something in there that can fly through it. Just to finish off the end of my signal and create a kind of celebration, if you like, of the end of my Rube Goldberg machine that's going up. So the power is going up here. Okay. So inside your world, inside here, I've made two platforms for you. You can create a redstone contraption here, maybe maybe two rails if you wanted. So you'd have two systems or maybe three. You'd have one on each corner or four. It's entirely up to you. And then you can build up into uh, this area here to send your redstone signal to go and you can experiment with different signals and different directions going out of here. Okay, so it ends up looking a little bit like that if you want. Okay, if you're fresh to Minecraft and you just want to sort of experiment and copy what I've made, then have a go, experiment, and then you can add to it yourself later on. There's nothing wrong with what we call magpieing, where you, you take someone else's idea and change it into your own. Okay, so at the end of it, what you're able to do, save and exit, and then inside Minecraft Education Edition on the iPad as well, you're able to see your worlds, and the one that you've made here, you can go to Manage, Export, and then you can send it through Teams, or you can email it because the file won't be very big and you can email it to me or send it in teams so i'll be looking forward to those in fact if you wanted to do a screen shot or a screen cast that'd be quite nice as well looking forward to what you're making year three um a simple picture would be just as nice to see what it is that you've made okay as always good luck